Davidoff Year of the Dragon series has been reviewed as an exquisite celebration of craftsmanship and flavor. It's been told that the cigar is a testament to its artistry and dedication of the brand. Among the offerings, we have already reviewed the Grand Toro. As representation of the Year of the Dragon, this cigar stands tall. The Grand Toro successfully demonstrated what the Year of the Dragon is all about. With the amazing taste of pepper, wood, honey, cream, roasted nut, and the most noticeable feature being the dark chocolate note. It's been revealed in the previous review. There is a possibility that the two cigars possesses different grades of tobacco from the same region that may have contributed to its price differences, or even alter the level of flavor between the two. Let us find out if that is the truth or just a price-driven imagination. This is the Davidoff Year of the Dragon Double Corona Comparison Review. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way Hey guys, welcome to Story Stars Assassin. Welcome back to another Year of the Dragon first review. Okay, so um, right now I have both of the Year of Dragon box in front of me. Like we said before, we were gonna compare it to the Double Corona. So I have an entire box of Double Corona cigar in front of me, which I am going to review for you. And then I'm gonna send it over back to Eric, smoke one if you have one so that he can do his reviews. So yeah, we're doing this all over review for this cigar, which shouldn't even make sense because why so many, why, I don't know why are we so excited about this cigar. It just is, it just is. So anyways, I have my box right here. That's mine. I'm gonna put it to the side. And this is the unboxing of Davidoff. Year of the Dragon. Boom. Double Corona cigar, which is also known as Churchill. Don't know why they gotta call it Double Corona. And this Eric's box is 14,341 out of 19,500. Okay. Uh, not gonna throw his box on the floor like mine usually do. Here we go. Ta da! Just as shiny, just as amazing. I love this effect that they are doing this. Like, you know, that, that, that effect is ridiculous. Anyways, this box is significantly lighter than the big box, of course. Um, let me show it to you. The surface is the same, pretty much. The same surface, but longer. So this is more length to it. Like, the rig, my box... Ah, Tony, you sure you want to do this? It's smaller, see that? But the surface is the same. Whoa, just this weightlifting. Ugh. The size is 10 limited edition, double corona, and the front flap, just like the one with the three, flops down. It does not have the number here, but it has the number on the tray itself, right here, right here. Okay, so the tray still pulls out like that, just the same, but longer tray will fit more. Uh, come on, getting there. Showing to the camera is actually a lot harder than you think. Take our cigar out. Okay. Oh, come on. Get back there. Here we go. And uh, put this back. So, yeah. The bottom is white. In comparison, the big one. It's white, but this gold edge to it. Oh, uh, heavy. So, very beautiful box. This one actually feels like a humidor. The other one feels like a box. This one feels like a humidor on the side. I, I think it looks really good as uh, like a decoration on a table or something like that. Now, 
Let me put this back. And I'll be right back. Oh, okay. That took a little bit of time because I had to get one of these Toro so that we can compare, right? All right, so here it goes. These are the year of the dragon. I don't know about you, but I can already tell a little bit of color difference. Can you tell the color difference? All right, same screen, same camera. There is a color difference. Can you tell the color difference? I think there is a color difference. There is a color difference. All right, for the same, like here, I'm switch hands, see if you can tell. Very, very minor, but there is a color difference. They're very close, but there is a color difference. Okay. So, construction. Uh, I think the, the Grand Tour is actually rougher in a way, more raw. Feeling, again, this one's rougher. This one's more silky. This feels very silky. This feels more rough, more leaf like. You can see that there's a lot of, a lot of textures on here. Over here, the, it, there is not nearly as much. It's actually more smooth. They cannot be the same thing. But that's just my my take on this. You don't have to say it is. You don't have to believe it. It's just fun, right? Yeah, there is definitely a difference. Definitely a difference. More silky versus not. Okay. Now, put this to the side. You know what? Let me take a picture. What are the chances? Take a picture. Uh, why not? I'll post this for you guys to see later. Okay. Stop procrastinating. Stop procrastinating. Let's go. $59 for the cigar. $59 for this cigar. This leafy smell. This one has more smell than this one though. This is less. It has more of a water smell too. Let's take off the band. Same band as every uh, the other one. Just exact same band. Okay. Same thing, open foot. I remember how that open foot with weird taste tastes like, so hopefully this is not the case. Nice cut. What? All right, the <clears throat> cold dry is um, earthy, leather, earthy, bits of pepper, with the same amount of chance of doing good. Stay away from the fan.
Ooh. All right. Start out. Leafy, water, grininess. Like, I think the tinkly from the pepper feels like sand. This is bitter wet leaf taste. Which I also got from the Toro. There's orange zest, the skin part of it, slight bitterness. There's also this really leafy, damp water, dirt water, a little bit of mineral. That open foot part of it just don't do good for me. All right. I'm gonna smoke this to one third and we'll talk about this. Hopefully it, it, I get through that first third quickly because I remember first third was not my favorite. So let's go. All right, first third. Now that looks short, but this actually that shaggy part. So first third, I re realized this cigar gets to the good part a lot faster. It gets to the creamy part, the licorice and a little bit toasted nut really quickly as soon as you hit the the wrapper part right away you taste the creaminess however there's still that water leaf weird taste not so much as the citrus that i get from the tour though not so much but it ends with this really like the leafy dirty water taste so it's like a slightly different, but yet the same. But this one gets there a lot quicker. And I think, I think it's because this one has a more narrow um, gauge. It's got less of uh, filler that's in there. Or the binder that's, uh, filler that's in there and binder that's in there has more wrapper, right? So you got to taste the wrapper more. As soon as you hit the wrapper, you can taste the wrapper more. So I, I, I do see that. But I feel like the cigar... It's actually stronger by just a tad I, and dries you out a little bit. It, it gives me dry mouth a little bit. So it's a slightly different experience. Uh, if I were to describe it, this one is more rough. When I see rough, it's like it goes in. It has this, all the weird taste from the binder and the, and the, and, and the filler. And then all of a sudden, boom, creamy. And then it okay, it tastes the creamy, like okay, all right, it's not you, but it doesn't. It's just like all of a sudden, okay, you're tasting that, still tasting that dirty water, still tasting that everything. They don't work together, they're just there, all together. And it makes me feel like immediately that this cigar needs to sit even longer. This cigar needs to be aged so that some of the no mellows out, they can work together a little bit, you know, all the Wrappers taste go into the filler and the binder and the binder kind of work its way up as well I don't think it has done that yet. I feel like they under aged this cigar By a little bit even though individually is long is aged, but when they finish this product, they didn't age long enough That's what I feel like. So that's a, the first third. It starts to get in there. It start. I think it starts off as a medium plus Okay, medium plus um, Burns okay It didn't feel as amazing um, it feels smaller on the hand, obviously, smaller gauge, and um, it doesn't have the same presence when I'm holding the Toro. Because I put this down, I hold the Toro again, and I was like, it doesn't have that um, feel to it. And this is more silky. So it's definitely more silky, more feel like more, um, I feel like an iPhone, you know? It looks good, it feels good. But when you go into it, the function is kind of like similar to, uh, to the Android, but it's like, you know, it's luxury, but it's missing something, but you don't know what it is. That's kind of what it feels like. So getting to the second third, I'll be right back. All right, two third. Now this is where the difference is. 
for the Grand Toro, you get to that chocolate and coffee and sweet taste a lot faster. Probably like, you know, somewhere in the mid second third. This one now is on the third, last third. It just started to convert to more chocolate. Because like the whole entire second third, it was actually more like a water taste and um, some very minor amount of chocolate or cocoa. Like even, even the cream part is kind of less. I think the overall chocolate taste or the cocoa taste or that, that latte going on is lighter. It's not as amazing as I thought the Grand Toro was. It's not as concentrated and it has more strength. So this one, there's more strength, lighter flavor. The Toro is a medium strength, more flavor. And I think that is a deciding factor difference. Deciding factor difference. Like I smoking this and I have food today and, and, and I feel this cigar is relatively heavy uh, in terms of strength and the body is less. It takes a little bit more to smoke. You know, I can't just drink water and go like, yeah, yeah, it's nothing. So, it's unfortunate. But last year started to get better. More pepper is coming in. More, more cocoa is coming in. There's a little bit more toasted nut flavor. So the first two third was a lot lighter than what I got from the Grand Tour. All right, so that's a disappointing part. Right now, pepper is not coming up. My nose is starting to feel a little bit like, you know, tingling and burnt from the pepper, the cocoa starts coming up. It looks like everything with the cycling factor was going to be on the last third. Now, keep in mind, this is what I say. This needs time to set. This needs time to for everything to work together. And even as it works together, it's still not as concentrated as uh, as like a sweet spot as the Grand Toro at this moment. OK, so now I'm going to go smoke the last third. We'll see if it catches up because when I smoked the, the Grand Toro, the flavor was nice. The flavor came over and then just, I only had to deal with the first third. Second third, last third was great. This one, first third, same kind of idea, but it gets to the, that minor, lighter, better taste quicker. But that lighter, better taste lasted way longer and it didn't really catch up until now. So last third. Be right back. All right, finally finished up. I can seriously tell you that this one is not as good as the Grand Toro. Definitely not as good. This thing has way more strength, less body. Chocolate, cocoa, sweetness, cream is not nearly as strong as the Toro. It has more strength than the Toro. Toro was about medium. This one is the medium to full, almost full if not full already, because I have food today and I feel like this was kind of strong. So it's not as good. And then I, you know, make me believe that rumor even more that this w was using uh, a different type of leaf or whatever. Maybe they have filled more uh, Lajero or something like that in here to make this uh, taste stronger. But yet the, f uh, the flavor is not as strong. It's, it doesn't have that that latte, that sweetness, that coffee uh, um, to go with it. It, it doesn't. It, it has a very light, light flavor, and then um, it has more pepper. So not nearly as good. And if you let it sit for a while, maybe it'll get better. But as of now, I think majority of people is going to think this cigar is not good because uh, for me, it wasn't as enjoyable or as exciting as the Grand Toro. The Grand Toro, way better, way better. If the Grand Toro was a nine, this is probably a six and a half. It has a flavor, but it didn't get there. It did not have the same level of the flavor that Grand Toro has given me. So, which I think is, makes sense. And I think Davidoff knew that. So, you know, doing the blending, doing all that stuff, they replace certain things. Oh, it's close enough, but it's not that. So we had to charge a certain amount of number um, uh, price for this and we can charge for the better one. 
And this is what I'm saying. There is something to it. And, and, and um, obviously, don't quote me for it, but I believe it. I think that there is some difference in the tobacco used uh, to get to the same uh, flavor, but not necessarily the same level of flavor. So if you buy the $59 Yield of Dragon, you might be slightly disappointed. And if you buy the, the Grand Toro, you'll be you will fully enjoy it. And I think that uh, the, the downside of the first third for the Grand Toro is going to fix itself over time. The downside of this one is shorter, but still there is a downside. There's less citrusy, so it's less weird, but it has that like a leafy water taste to it. <laughs> leafy water taste to it that it wasn't pleasant either. So, and that lasted all the way to the end of the second third and very light on the last third. So yeah, unfortunately, it wasn't it wasn't as good as the Toro. Yeah, yeah in, in terms of comparison, right? Definitely not as good. So I can now, like I said, I can see why. The band are exactly the same. Same. Yeah, same. Exactly the same. You have the dragon and white band. So I would say if you are seeking for the cigar right now, try your best to find the Grand Toro. Uh, if you smoked a double Corona and didn't like it, try the Grand Toro. Grand Toro is so much better. It, it is so much better in my opinion. Like not, not everybody's opinion, but in my opinion, it's so much better. And I liked it. But for this one, I did not enjoy it as much as I thought I would. Not near, not even nearly. I, I was excited. I was like, oh, maybe this is just as good. But it wasn't. So that will be it for this review. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you... Get some uh, information on this one. I hope that um, that will make your purchase decision slightly different. Instead of getting two of these, you get one of the Toro. You got to enjoy it way, way more. Way more. I hope people are selling them too. So if not, trade it. You know, use two of these to trade with people that has the Gwen Toro. Maybe they will trade you. Given that if they haven't tried this Double Corona, because I wouldn't trade it. I, I think the Double Corona is way better. Way better. I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's it for the review. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to also check out Smoke White if you have one whenever he released this, his review, because I had to send him the box so that he have the cigar to review. Uh, that, that box is actually his. Uh, I have the, the, the Quintoro box. So he will be reviewing them when he received them. And that will be it for now. I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys.